a little bit what happened on Sunday? Uh, well, my neighbour rang me at five past three in the morning and said, um, you better get up. And then I looked out the window and obviously uh, there was all this firemen, water. And I would come downstairs, open the door and then it just all started coming in. What was the, the, what was the immediate reaction? Uh, my immediate reaction wasn't like most people's because it's just one of them things. Looking around, you've been very busy, obviously. Yeah. What did it look like on Sunday? I imagine a very different mm. picture. How did you have to sort of deal with, with that? Uh, like I kind of left it for quite a while, me, because I didn't. If it was going to happen again, it me it might as well just. It, I was I was told said they did say to me, might be pointless cleaning up just yet. Going going mad with it because it started again. It started filling up again. What sort of damage have you have you had? Uh, well, my floor's got to go. The, the laminate flooring, um, the curtains they was ruined. Uh, Unsure about this tile floor yet. I don't know if it's gone underneath from under the cupboards. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience as to what's happened here? Well, horrendous really because we've not really had much help. Nobody's given us any advice. We were told this were dirty water and not to touch anything, but um, they've left us here, so I've, I've got nowhere else to go. So who's, who's it that, that advised you on that? Well, we were all here, say, so yeah, United Utilities were here for quite a while on Saturday, but didn't seem to do much and then give us two sandbags and left. And what time was that? About, I think they left about half nine. Right, and then obviously things got a lot worse on the Sunday, Sunday morning. morning. Yeah, we got woke up by toilets bubbling Sunday morning, and then we come down and it was just gushing through the doors. So what was the immediate reaction with that? Well, we couldn't even come downstairs because it was flowing over the steps on the stairs, so we were just upstairs with the dog. Luckily, it kept my son out the night before, so he were here, but that took hours for the fire brigade to even pump all the water away. So we didn't get out of the property until about half eight in the morning, it started at quarter to two. We've been told not to lift anything, but there's water still seeping through flooring places, but insurance purposes. But even they've not been much help. Yeah, because again, if, if you've been able to, to... We couldn't contact anyone over the weekend, because everywhere we transferred to were closed. And then we did yesterday, but nobody's coming till tomorrow, so they don't know nothing. They've not given us any advice on anything. What do we do with all the stuff? We've got no work live. So what's the mood on the street been? Not very good. Well, how everybody's helped each other and... Mm. It's, it, that's been nice. You've got to know more people on the street. Oh. So in the few days that it's been since Sunday, have everybody's team together, we've been in each other's house getting more around helping with what things have gone wrong. So that, that's been a nice part of it. Everyone's helped each other. It'd just be nice if somebody had just come and gone, oh, we're here to help if you need it. We've not even had that.